My name is Daryl Patterson, and I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. I'm a father of three. I enjoy working with people and serving others, uh, and I am faithful to my God. As a Seventh-day Adventist, Daryl believes in keeping the Sabbath, dedicating one day, Friday at sundown to Saturday at sundown to God. For him, this means not working during this time. God says, this is what I would have you to do, to work six days and to rest on the seventh day. I was employed with Walgreens uh, from 2005 until 2011. Walgreens knew from the very beginning that I was a practicing Seventh-day Adventist. During the interviewing process, I specifically asked if, there, if it would be a problem. And I explained that I didn't work Friday sunset to Saturday sunsets. Uh, and they advised me that it wouldn't, and they, I was hired. People of diverse faiths have kept the Sabbath since before our nation's founding, and many still do. Our Constitution and civil rights laws protect Sabbath worshipers from discrimination. For six years, Darrell was able to do his job and observe Sabbath every Saturday. But then Walgreens fired Darrell for refusing to break his Sabbath to run a 30-minute training session on a Saturday. But other employees kept their jobs after missing similar shifts for non-religious reasons. The events leading up to that day, the suspension and then eventually the termination, uh, coming home and having to say, honey, I'm home, and by the way, I just lost my job. No doubt I have experienced discrimination in my lifetime. I, I'm a, I was born in the South, spent most of my life here in the South. This experience was much more painful. It goes to my soul. It's about my relationship with my God. After Daryl was fired, he went to court to defend his rights and stop Walgreens' religious discrimination. His case is now being appealed to the Supreme Court. There are others who find themselves faced with the Sabbath accommodation question as well. There are those that came before me, uh, those that are, will come after me, and so for that reason this really wasn't entirely about Daryl, it was about all of those who worship on Sabbath, who have a strong religious conviction about a holy day. <laughs>